Bullet forces can be used in many different ways. Turbulence for the webbing flag, spinning objects around, or animated force fields are just a few examples of what can be achieved by the use of this feature. The spherical objects in this scene are rigid bodies. So if we hit play, they fall down because of gravity. Gravity is the default force always present in Bullet. You can check the global gravity setting from the Bullet Properties panel under the World tab. It is set to negative 9.8 on the Y by default. We can use three different types of forces. Force field, vortex, explosion. Adding a force is quite easy. All we have to do is add a null, let's name it force, and let's move it a little bit on the y-axis, and then left click on one of the three buttons under the forces menu, force field for example. If we open the bullet properties panel now, we can see the new force field in the left list. Let's hit play so we can see the effect. This force is a direction and strength. Let's increase the strength and see how the objects are moving up because of the y vector set to 1. We can combine the vector values to get different results. Let's change the force type to vortex. Now the objects are spinning around the y axis. Let's decrease the strength to 10 to produce a less violent effect. As we change the vortex axis to X or Z, we'll see the force shape changing accordingly, together with the object dynamic motion. Let's change the force type to explosion. In this case, the objects are repelled away from the center of the force. We can increase the strength to make the effect more evident. We can also change the direction from center to X, Y, or Z. Let's set the direction to center again and change the strength value to a negative one. Now the objects are attracted by the force. For more information on bullet forces, please have a look at the documentation.